I remember Brother William Pell explaining one day, a man who had a lot of experience in being with old people as they died because he uh, was one of the founders of the Rest Haven Homes in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And he used to use this verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 16 that says, Who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. And he said, you know, uh, when a person dies, their brain is buried along with their body, but their mind goes with them into the presence of the Lord. And we have the mind of Christ. And he believed that the mind of a Christian was distinct quite clearly from the brain. And he had seen, for example, many people with dementia who might not even know their own family members, but as soon as you began to sing a hymn or quote a psalm, they could finish it with you. They didn't even know what century they were in. But as soon as you got into spiritual things, a new part of the brain kicked in. And wherever the seat is of the mind of Christ, it's very distinct from the human brain. I saw this just the other evening where a lady brought along her old mother to our hymn sing at a local retirement home. And she said afterwards, um, I've lost complete contact with my mother, but I just delighted to see her smiling the whole time during the hymn sing. She said she used to play those pieces on the piano years ago. Well, this is a story about a dear friend, Leonard Sheldrake, Jr. He lived in Indiana, south of where we lived in Michigan, and he was dying. And I got in the car one day and I drove down to see him. It was quite some hours to the hospital. And when I went in, I was so delighted to see the brother. He was a true Christian gentleman. He was always rather slow of speech, but on that occasion, he wasn't able to say anything to me. He would say, I, uh, 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 oh, he just couldn't get anything out. And I said, now listen, brother, just relax. I, I came down to just read you a little scripture and, and hold your hand and sing a few hymns to you and pray. And so I had a little time with him and, and I prayed. And when I finished praying, he started to pray. And he prayed for me and for my family and for the ministry of Gospel Folio and for his family. And he didn't miss a beat. And when he said, oh, man, I said, Brother Leonard, that was wonderful. And he said, I, uh, 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 he couldn't say a word. <laughs> and I just so often thought of that, that it seems like God has put a second wiring system into believers so that even when their bodies deteriorate, as the Apostle Paul would say, though the outward man is perishing, the inward is made new every day. And right on into glory, the Spirit of God continues to minister to our spirits. His Spirit witnesses with our spirits, even when our bodies and brains have decayed. What a wonderful God to think of that and to wire into us the ability through the Spirit of communicating with heaven even when we've lost the ability to communicate on earth. Someday those tongues will be loosed and once again we will see these fully functioning believers in heaven who no doubt even in the darkest times when they've been cut off from the world around them God has still been ministering to their hearts and what stories they will tell of those dark and difficult days when we say that we've completely lost contact. My own mother with, with her dementia and Alzheimer's to think that God is still ministering to these dear people. <laughs>